Okay, so for your master bedroom suite assignment here, um, as listed on Schoology, here are the assignment requirements. So um, you're making a master bedroom, so it's going to be a larger bedroom, so somewhere between 175 to 250 square feet. So if you take the length times the width, that's how you get the square feet. Your bathroom size between 75 and 150. And then your closet somewhere between 5 to 5 to 10 by 10. So it could be 5 by 10, 8 by 5, 8 by 8, somewhere within um, 5 feet to 10 feet dimensions. Um, you need to have all the doors you need to be able to get in and out of the rooms, at least two windows in the bedroom and one in the bathroom. You're going to include all the furniture, bathroom fixtures, and the bathroom should be full-size bathrooms. So that means toilet, sink, and uh, shower and tub and it could be a shower tub combo and that is totally fine and you're going to complete a detailed floor plan drawing which i'm going to show you guys some examples here so as i was brainstorming i was just quickly on some scratch paper drawing up so i started out with this one on the left which i quickly modified it was figuring out sizing and kind of thinking about um, where stuff would go to and then i ended up with this one on the right Got a nice shadow there. So then I started adding in when the black, um, kind of like where windows would go, how my bathroom would lay out just to make sure I had enough room. And um, I was trying to think like if I were to put this in an actual house, how would um, like other rooms be laid out near it? So and since I made this closet a little smaller, I want to have enough space along this like opening that that would be a closet for like another bedroom that would be up here. So it'd be a nice like rectangle sized bedroom. This is their little um, normal size closet, not a walk in closet. So that was kind of my plan with that little dent in. So then I took this really rough drawing and then grabbed one of the um, sheets that I have up front, the grid paper and drew it up much nicer so straight lines um, added in the doors and the fixtures and my bed things like that um, and dimensioned things too so i said this is 16 feet by 12 feet each of these cubes i did as one little cube is a foot so 16 cubes across is 16 feet by 12 little cubes um, if you have your rooms at like a, not a normal square or rectangle, there's indents and stuff, you'll have to do a little bit more math to figure out the square footage that you should include on your floor plan. So I figured out my bedroom is 192, bathroom 96, closet 80. And um, by laying out the furniture and stuff, I know that they are okay sizes as before I start building them in Revit. So... A um, couple of things, um, you'll want to look at that presentation on Schoology for some info. So like furniture sizing, so like bedding, the bed, I didn't just guess at how big a bed is. I looked at the king size bed and it's about uh, seven feet by six feet. I listed it in inches, but I converted it over to feet and drew that up. And um, kind of same with the toilet. I know on that slideshow it says you need it like 30 inches um, Ideally, 36 inches of spacing for the toilet. So my little toilet closet, I made sure that that was three cubes across um, and plenty big to like be able to actually walk in there. Um, I know that cabinets are usually two feet deep, so I had those on there. Other things oops, um, that you would want to kind of look at and take note of is like door window size requirements. There are certain sizes, like you can't have a two foot wide door into a bedroom. Like that's not to code. There is a certain minimum width and you're gonna wanna know that so that when we get into Revit and we choose what door you wanna upload in there, you choose the right size door width. And the one going into the bathroom doesn't have to be as wide if you don't want it to be. You could have them all match and that's totally fine. But I'm looking at that and you can make notes on your drawing. So I could add in here notes about the doors, what size doors I wanna use or size windows, things like that. And don't worry about exact placement of your windows. That might change as you start actually build up. But just roughly like where your window is going to go, roughly where the door is going to go, things like that. So um, for the drawing assignment in Schoology, you're going to take a picture, kind of like how I did here, of your master suite plan. Make sure you wrote out the square footage of each of your rooms. 
and that includes dimensions, doors, windows, basic furniture, like that. And then after that, you'll be able to start making it in Revit. So there is not a step-by-step -step video to show you how to do this, but hopefully you're going to take a little bit that you've learned so far of Revit and of making that like average size bedroom and bathroom and use that knowledge to making your own master suite plan in Revit. Um, as always, if you have questions, let me know and I'll be around to help you.